What about you? Today we're going to be talking about the one thing that stops people from getting the best lawn. The one thing I've learnt is that all the treatments in the world are no substitute for what I'm about to tell you. If you can't get this right, it doesn't matter what else you do, it will stop you from getting a great lawn. Today we're going to talk about a beginner's guide to getting the most out of cutting your lawn. For grass cutting there is a very important golden rule. The one third rule. Anyone that follows my channel will have heard me talk about this before as it is the cornerstone for achieving the perfect lawn. I have covered this in another video. If you don't want to hear the next bit you can skip forward to the next chapter. However, I think this is a very important part to achieving a good lawn. A neatly manicured lawn always looks good. If, on the other hand, you allow it to grow for a few days and it gets very long and then you scalp it down, you'll find that the grass looks off colour for a few days because the lawn has been stressed out. This causes an uneven coloured patch of grass rather than a rich green carpeted grass that we prefer. The one third rule is all about how much grass you take off your lawn on any one go and it's important to know what height you're cutting your grass so I'm going to show you a very easy way to measure your height of cut. As shown here take a tape measure or a ruler and push it down into the grass and this will show you a very easy way to measure your height of cut. If you're enjoying this video if you could smash that like button down below and if you have any questions about the stuff that I'm covering always leave me a comment. Cut a section of your lawn and then measure it again and you'll be able to tell what height your lawnmower cuts at at different settings. To follow the one third rule when you mow your lawn never remove more than one third of a blade of grass. Let's have a look at the science behind mowing your lawn, how plants work. There are literally millions of grass plants on your lawn. Each one has a root system, a crown and of course leaves. The crown is the epicentre of the plant, the point where the leaves sprout from. The reason that we can mow our lawns without killing it is that the leaves grow from the crown at the bottom of the plant. The purpose of leaves is not to look pretty or even to shade the soil and protect it from moisture loss, although they do these things really well. No leaves are there to store and make energy. Grass is green because the cells contain a substance called chlorophyll. Chlorophyll is clever stuff. It enables the plant to carry out a process called photosynthesis. Think back to your school days in which carbon dioxide from the air and water from the soil are combined to make carbohydrates and store oxygen. The amount of energy the plant can produce is directly related to the surface area of the leaf. So when you remove the leaves through mowing suddenly the vast network of roots and plant cells loses its supply of calories. You're effectively putting the plant on a diet. By sticking to the one third rule for mowing you are avoiding that diet situation where the plants get weaker. Instead, you're only reducing the plant's calorie intake by a manageable amount. If you take one thing away from this video today, and that is by following the one third rule, you will dramatically improve your lawn overnight and it's 100% free. What type of mower should you use will obviously depend on how the lawn will be used and of course your budget. There's certainly a wide choice of lawnmowers out there for you to choose from. For a family lawn, a nice robust rotary mower is just the job. If you want an ornamental lawn, then you need a cylinder mower. These type of mowers tend to cost more to buy and maintain as they can be easily damaged if you hit an object on the lawn. If you want lawn stripes, you will need a mower to achieve this. You can of course stripe a lawn with a brush or tie something behind the lawnmower. However, 
both these things aren't very practical. Most cylinder mowers will have a built-in ruler. Some rotary mowers may have optional attachment as well for creating stripes. Lastly, we have robot lawn mowers, but I'm not a big fan of these, although they probably are the future. If you need a suggestion for mowers, visit our Premier Lawns community page on Facebook. The members there will be very happy to share their experience of different makes and models. Can you mow your lawn in the winter? Yes, of course you can, as long as you follow some simple tips. You can mow your lawn at any time of the year, provided the grass is not frozen. Grass will continue to grow in the winter if the soil temperature is over 6 degrees centigrade, and it really won't mind if you just take the tips off every now and again. I would always encourage you to give your lawn a trim in the winter, if conditions allow as you never know what the spring will be like, will it be too wet for you to cut your garden for example. Be careful though, don't take off too much because the grass won't recover fast. Also, as there's less sunlight, it is best to raise the height of cut so as your grass can make and store more energy. Another common question is, can I cut my garden whenever it's wet? Most domestic lawnmowers aren't that great at handling wet grass. Cylinder mowers absolutely hate it. There's a risk that the mower will tear at the grass leaving ugly ragged edges that quickly turn brown. Plus wet clippings can clog the machine making progress slow. If on the other hand you're using a professional lawnmower these will cut the grass without any problem. If in the meantime it gets quite long remember the one third rule and reduce the length gradually. If you're going to feed your lawn I'd always recommend mowing it first. This will mean that a granular feed is less likely to sit on grass blades where it can burn them and a fuller feed will have enough time to be absorbed before the next cut. If there's no rain forecast for a day or two it always pays to water your lawn after applying a granular feed. Can you cut with a box off or mulch your grass? To have a look at how the professionals do it on the golf courses as they have large areas to maintain. Little and often again is the key along with professional machines. For your own lawn I would always advise caution as whenever you cut with a box off you spread weed seeds everywhere. If you've enjoyed this video I think you'll enjoy this video. Don't forget to smash the like button and subscribe for more content like this.